In this video, I just wanted to share something with you that has been extremely helpful for me personally, uh, both in terms of my physical health and uh, just it really integrates very well with the three principles and it's called Qigong. And Qigong, just to give you a little bit of background, is uh, based in Chinese medicine, uh, practice that's about 6,000 years old. And the idea behind it is that our body, much like in quantum physics, is a field of energy and that this energy can get blocked through emotional trauma, through uh, disease, through injury, lots of different ways. And so Qigong was developed as a way to heal the body, but also to give the body more vitality and energy uh, and mental clarity and spiritual development. So this is a practice that's been around for a long time and I didn't really know about it that much, but until I had a, a back injury about uh, four years ago, and had a herniated disc and I was desperate so I tried out my wife's Qigong teacher and within two weeks my herniated disc was completely healed so I've done it every day since and it's been extremely helpful for my own health but also more importantly for my mental health and so that's why we have it as part of the program here at Gulf Breeze as part of our Thrive philosophy is to uh, help the whole person. This is part of our holistic approach. So um, Qigong is, um, is a, a very simple practice, something that you can easily take home with you when you leave Gulf Breeze. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of time, you know, five to ten minutes a day at most. Uh, sometimes people do it in the morning, first thing when they get up, or in the evening before they go to bed. It's very helpful with insomnia, helps you wake up in the morning, helps you have more positive outlook on your day. And so I'm going to just teach you two very simple, basic exercises in this. So the first one is called uh, lifting the sky, and the second one is called butterfly. And there's three rules of thumb that we always use in Qigong. The first one is to, to not think too much about what you're doing. If you engage your intellect while you're doing this exercise, you will actually stop the flow of the qi, which is the goal of these movements is to get the chi moving through your body for healing, vitality, and mental clarity. The second thing is just to enjoy every aspect of the movement. You know, this is not punishment, this isn't painful, this is something very enjoyable. So just put your mind in a state of, of ease and enjoyment. And the third thing is relax, relax, and relax. While you're doing this, the more relaxed your mind is, the more relaxed your body is, the more natural the movement becomes and the greater the benefit. So the first one I'll show you is lifting the sky and I'll first just demonstrate that. I look down, I put my, my arms are straight down, hanging down from my shoulders. My body is in an upright position and relaxed. My eyes are gazed down at my fingertips and as much as is comfortable, you either point your fingers eventually straight towards each other, but eventually you'll be able to point your fingers all the way in, and then as you breathe in, your eyes follow your fingertips up above your head, and when they get above your head, just gently push your palms of your hands skyward, and then as you exhale, relax your wrists and let your arms fall to your side kind of in cadence with your exhalation of your breath. The second exercise that I find extremely helpful is called butterfly. And again, it's very simple. And the benefit I get from this is if I wake up in the morning, I'm feeling really groggy or kind of in a low mood or whatever, it really helps to open my heart and to um, lift my mood. So it's very good for people who feel depression, um, who are low energy, at any point in, in the day, if you do this, it helps raise your energy. So the exercise looks like this. You bend over, your hands hanging down about the knee level, and as you come up and inhale, your arms open like a butterfly's wings, and your head goes back in an arch. That's it.